Today I will show you how we can make objects float on water. So first of all, let's start this by creating a notion. So what is add mesh select plane here. So being selected the plane, come to this modifier options, add modifier, physics, and set the ocean here. So now let's animate the ocean first. So come to this time option, add a keyframe, move to the last frame, and here I will change this to 15. Now add a keyframe once again. Now press T and make it here. So we got the animation of our ocean. So now let's bring the waves. So come to this wave options. And here I will scale, increase the scaling to 3 and here I want the waves to be flowing in one direction. So come to this alignment and change this to 1. Now we will have this motion forward motion here and also let's increase the resolution. So I will increase the resolution to 10 and also render I will increase the resolution to 10. Now we got our ocean ready. Bring an object here. So here I will be using Suzanne. So go to this add mesh select Suzanne here. Let's increase the scaling of this Suzanne and place it here for time being. So now let's start this by adding a plane once again. So go to this add mesh select a plane here, increase the scaling. So here we got the plane here. Now let's add subdivision. So press tab key, right click subdivide, subdivide. So here I'm having this subdivisions. Now being selected this uh, vertices here, come to this object data properties, click on this vertex group plus icon and let's rename this as pins and as I. So we have assigned all the vertex group to this pin group here. Now again press tab key to exit this edit mode. Now being selected this plane, come to this modifier once again add modifier deform and select the shrink wrap and in target we need to select the ocean so now you can see we got our plane floating on this ocean so now we need to copy the location and rotation of this plane onto this Suzanne so select the Suzanne here come to this object constraints add object constraints copy location so in target we need to select the plane and in group we need to select the group so now we got the location in the same way we need to copy the rotation also so go to this object constraint once again, copy rotation and target, let it be plane and vertex group, let it be pins. So now you can see we got this location and rotation also. So if you want to change the orientation, press tab key in edit mode. Let's rotate this here and let's bring the Susan a bit upward and we got our object floating on water so let's hide this out okay so now you can see we got our susan floating on water so in this way we can make objects float on water easily